Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Are you okay? I am. It's very cold. Oh my god. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I would have got you like hand warmers or something. Oh, oh. no, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yes, my name is Chloe Pitchford, and I'm a singer-songwriter from Liverpool. Amazing, amazing. So, how, okay, first of all, you have over 10,000 plays on your track, Take You Down on Spotify. <laughs> yeah, I do. So, how, how long have you been doing this? Um, I actually, I started writing songs last year. Yeah. But, yeah, at the beginning of last year, and um, I just decided to record a few of them. Jesus. And then we released Take You There. Yeah. Um, last month. Amazing. On the 11th of January last month. Amazing. So, and the response was overwhelming, in all honesty. Yeah, well, you've, look, Dave Monks has already had you on BBC introducing, and yeah, yeah. I, I saw your little post saying Guide Liverpool has just named you, like, must hear musician for February, which is <laughs> yeah. incredible. So what, did you, uh, did you just, like, wake up one day and was like, right, I'm just going to... I'm just going to get shit done, I'm just going to do this, and it's what I want to do, and so, I mean, what what would you say to someone who is maybe writing their own songs, their own material, but they're not too confident, they don't really know how to get out there, like, what, what, would, what advice would you give to them? Um, life's too short, and if that's what you enjoy, definitely do it, because, yeah. you know, you you finish school, you're in work, yeah. nine to five or wherever, yeah. and you just wake up one day and you're 40. Yeah. <laughs> so, just do it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, of course. Scary thought. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, right, let's, let's talk music. So what was the last physical CD? Like, not a streaming, not nothing on iTunes, like the last physical CD that you bought. Oh, the last physical CD that I bought. Oof. Um, got me here. I haven't bought a CD in a while. I know. <laughs> um, um, I can remember the first CD I bought. I'll go but on. The last one. What's the I can remember the first, uh, the first CD I ever bought was uh, Linkin Park Hybrid Theory. And oh, I no think way. I was six. What? <laughs> And my dad took me to HMV and uh, yeah. said, you know, you can get whichever CD you want. And yeah. So I got that one. <laughs> oh, you got to live down. Like, I remember one year when I must have been like four or five, it was Father's Day. And I got my dad, um, oh, what was it? It wasn't Sugar Babes. What was it? Because <laughs> Sugar Babes was way after that. But it was, it was like some 90s girl group. And I got him, it was a cassette tape. And then he just sort of, you know, took me aside and was like, I'm going to exchange this to Led Zeppelin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad choice. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what is the one song that, like, you play and it instantly makes you feel happy or it turns your mood around on a bad day? Um, um, it's probably New Radicals. Uh, uh -huh. Get What You Give. Okay. That's, okay. like, the, the ultimate tune to... Get yeah. me in a good mood. I have it on my Monday playlist. Oh, no way. Nice. And I'll be on the bus. Yeah. And I'll be like, okay, this is the one. <laughs> nice. Nice. And who is the best artist that you discovered in 2017? Oh, that I discovered in uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, probably Pale Waves. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I um, heard uh, their song Television Romance mm. a, a while back. And yeah. I thought, oh, you know, these are good. Yeah. Yeah. Really good vibe. <laughs> um, okay, here's, here's a bit of an odd one. What would be your pro wrestler name? My, my what, sorry? Your pro wrestler name. My pro wrestler name? Yeah. What would it be? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> do you know, and I've, 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 I have grew up watching wrestling, so <laughs> you actually... I should have my own name. <laughs> yeah, I do. Randy Orton's my favourite wrestler. Oh, no way. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Um, they'd probably have to change my last name. Um, I'd probably use like a. I'd probably use the name that my mum and dad were gonna call me, which is Summer. Oh yeah. And use my mum's last name, which was Fernando. So I'd probably go with Summer Fernando. Oh, that actually, yeah, that's actually quite fitting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Say you're on. I don't know why I'm going down a wrestler route. I don't know. But say <laughs> say you're on WWE. Or what is it? Is that what it is? 
Yeah. 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 See, you can tell I don't know anything. But <laughs> what would be your like your like theme song for when you're coming out and the fog machine is on, and like what what would it what would it be like? Um. <laughs> Probably, probably rolling by Limp Biscuit. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's one of those where it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing, amazing. Yeah, that'd be the song. <laughs> okay, so what have you, what, what have you got coming up? You've done, you've been doing loads of gigs. You've been all over the place. You've been in like Jacaranda. You've been in Hebe's Leaf. You've, you've done everything. What, what have you got coming up? Have you got? Are you going to be doing like the festival circuit this year, maybe, or? Um, I applied for a few, but I was a bit late um, okay. with my applications because obviously my song only came out yeah. last month. Yeah. Um, so I think that what I've got planned is to just carry on trying to gig. Yeah. Um, I've got my next single, Messing Around, coming out um, on the 22nd of this month. Amazing. I am um, going to try and get a few videos done, hopefully, and yeah. just keep recording the rest of the album, yeah. which hopefully will be out around October. Amazing. So just and it'll be called White. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So, are you working with anyone in particular with like production or anything, or like? Uh, yeah, I work with an incredibly talented producer called uh, John Lawton oh, from yeah? Crosstown Studios. Oh yeah, yeah. And oh, uh, he's amazing. That was <laughs> <laughs> a little shout so, out there. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great to work with him. And the stuff we're getting out is better than what I thought Aww. it could be. So. Oh, brilliant! Brilliant. What song are you going to play? Take You There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. It's been lovely, really lovely speaking to you. I hope that your fingers aren't falling off. Um, <laughs> I know it's absolutely fucking freezing. I'll let you go. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I got that feeling in my bones And I know you want to know If your life is gonna change with me But that nagging in your head About those words I've never said Hides the truth behind the fantasy Cause I can take you there I can take you there If you let me Cause I can take you there I can take you there If you let me If you let me oh. Picnics in the sunshine Romance in the night time Dance around in a white dress My heart on a necklace Kissing under the moonlight Arms wrapped right round you all night Just like in the movies I'm a thing that you can't keep Cause I can take you there I can take you there if you let me You got that itching in your skin And I know you're giving in To the promises behind my eyes It's a simple me plus you Don't know what you're gonna do Now's not the time to play your shy Cause I can take you there I can take you there if you let me Cause I can take you there I can take you there If you let me If you let me oh. Picnics in the sunshine Romance in the night time Dance around in a white dress My heart on a necklace Kissing under the moonlight Arms wrapped around you all night Just like in the movies I'm a thing that you can't keep Cause I can take you there I can take you there if you let me Cause I can take you there I can take you there if you let me If you let me, oh